Hello friends, I am Dr. Prem Shankar Pandey, founder and director of Lay Pearl Education. I welcome you all to today's autopsy uh, of Rajasthan set exam that was conducted on 26th of March 2023. Today I am going to do the analysis of every question and I'll tell you the tentative answer of all the questions. And at the end of the video, you will also come to know the expected cutoff category wise for this set exam. So here we go. So let's start with uh, the first question, question number 51. Henry Fielding Tom Jones was published in the year. The right answer is 1749. B is the, the right option. Question number 52. Which of Jane Austen's work satirizes Gothic novel by contrasting day-to-day -day life with the imagined horrors of Anne Radcliffe's work? So the protagonist of uh, Northanger Abbey, Catherine Moorland, is habituated of reading and Radcliffe's Mysteries of Rodolfo in a special to North Angarabi. Option C is the right answer. Question number 53, which of the following works gives an unusual perspective on the Napoleonic War and criticizes high society? So this work, Pendennis, written by William Makepeace Thackeray, talks about the aristocratic society, the satire on aristocratic society. So definitely, a is the right option for question number 53. Question number 54, which of the following novels has not been written by Virginia Woolf? So the well bit of is written by Thomas Hardy. B is the right option for question number 54. Uh, next question, question number 55. James Boswell is known for his biography called as Life of Samuel Johnson. Question number 55. A is the right option. Let's move on to question number 56. The autobiography of Alice B. Class. So the writer is Gertrude Stein. B is the right option here. Question number 57. Which of the following is not an aspect on which Bakken did not write in the advancement of learning? So uh, basically, the work advancement of learning is about religion and philosophy. So religion is the, uh, is the right option. Parents and economics comes under philosophy only. So according to me, A should be the right answer, colonialism. Question number 58, identify the incorrect statement from the following. Coverdale Bible, which was published in 1535. Here it's giving 1545. This is wrong. And it was translated from German. That is also wrong. It was translated from a Hebrew and Greek language. So that is also wrong. So A is the correct option here for 58. Question number 59. Uh, the purpose of the journal, the, uh, to live in morality with wit and to temper wit with morality is declared the objective of the spectator. B is the right option here. Samuel Johnson's A Dictionary of English Language was first published in the year 1755. This question was also asked in UGC net exam 2023 afternoon shift. Question number 61, which of the following is not written by Jawaharlal Nehru? So it is uh, science and education. It's not written by Jawaharlal Nehru. It is written by Johann Frederick Herbert. So D is the right option. 62, the life divine is written by Sri Aurobindo. A is the right option. Question number 63, author of the autobiography of an unknown Indian by Neeraj C. Chaudhary. D is the right option here. Question number 64, Arkane Alliance, the Emerald Rude. It's a travelogue of visit to Karnataka. So A is the right option here. The first recorded use of the term English for academic purpose appears in the year 1974. 1974 is the right option. In the context of language teaching, a uh, non-native speaker stands for N and S. B is the right option. Full form of ASCP, Army Specialized Training Program which is also uh, a part of second language teaching that is called as army method. So uh, the question is taken from the second language acquisition. So A is the right option. Question number 68, the communicational teaching project headed by N.S. Prabhu is also known as National uh, Bangalore Project is the right answer here. This question is taken from language teaching. So Bangalore Project is the right answer for question number 68. 
let's move on to the next question question number 69 which of the following critics wrote a book titled return to philology advocating return of philology so basically this work was written by paul d man and other three writers are not there along with paul d man two more writers that contributed were geoffrey hartman and peter demich so the first option is correct however second third and fourth are not correct so this is a controversial question but if they are giving the answer they may give the answer as option d because edward said is not at all related to philology but this is a controversial question uh, question number 70 B is the right option. Lange. The Lange is the implicit system of elements of distinction and oppositions and of principles of combination, which make it possible within a language community for a speaker to produce and the auditor to understand a particular parole. So parole is a speech and Lange is the language. So B is the right option. Question number seventy-one. Choose the incorrect statement describing course in general linguistics. So this was published in nineteen sixteen. Uh, it was a collection of lectures given by Fortuna de Sousor, collected by his students and published posthumously. So it is a seminal work on modern Spanish linguistics. That's right. It was published from students' note. That is also right. It was based on the lectures delivered during nineteen six to twelve. That is wrong. It is nineteen six to nineteen eleven. So C should be the right answer here, and the author is obviously Swiss linguist for the answer. So, question number seventy-two: In which work did Noam Chomsky initiate his transformational generative exam? Right answer is syntactic structure. A is the right option. Question number seventy-three: The vertical relation between any single word in a sentence and other words that are phonologically, syntactically, or semantically. Uh, semantically similar and which can be substituted for its known is called as paradigmatic. D is the right option. Question number seventy-four. Edward Sapir and Leonard Bloomfield devised a linguistic theory to analyze Native American languages. Edward Sapir and Leonard Bloomfield, these are the American linguists, who devised the theory for their native development. Question number seventy-five: Which resolution of the Charter Act clearly stated that England was obligated to promote interest and happiness of the natives, and the measures ought to be adopted as may lead to the introduction among them of useful knowledge? According to me, it should be thirteenth, but I'm not very hundred percent sure of the answer. So it must be uh, take with the answer key, final answer key. However, according to me, it should be thirteen, but I'm not very sure of. So please make a note of this. Question number seventy-six. To whom uh, did Raja Ram Mohan Roy wrote a letter on English education that argued against the establishment of a Sanskrit school? The right answer is Lord Amherst. Question number seventy-seven. Who is the author of On the Education of the People of India? So the right answer is E. Travelling. Uh, his full name is Charles Edward Travelling. He has written the work On the Education of the People of India. Question number seventy-eight. In which year did Charles Grant, an employee of the East India Company, recommended the dissemination of European literature and sciences through the medium of English among the people of India? So the right answer is seventeen ninety-two. A is the right option. Uh, question number seventy-nine. Who from the following opined that all the literatures of the East are not worth a single shelf of a good European library? Uh, this is said by Thomas Babington Macaulay. Option D is the right option. Question number eighty. In which book has Swati Jyoti argued that English cannot be viewed like any other foreign languages? The teaching of English has a long history: a history of political and economic subjugation of the Indian masses, a history of marginalization of native forms of culture. So the right option for this uh, question is rethinking English. B is the right option. Question number eighty-one: Who is the author of the English Utilitarians and India? Eric Stokes is the right option. Who has identified two broad categories of non-native English in India: the institutionalized and the performance variety? It is Bridge Kathru when he is talking about the nativization of English. Here he coined the term. 
Question number 83, in which year did the Official Language Amendment Act make English an associate language of the Union of India without any time limit? So this act was passed in 1963 and amended in 1967. 1963 is not there in the option. So we'll go with 1967. Question number 84, B.K. Gokar authored a book on the status of English in India in the year 1964. The title uh, that was used by V.K. Gokar is English in India at present and future. He is the right option. Question number 85, Raymond Williams Culture and Society can be best affiliated with the cultural studies. He is the right option. Question number 86, mythologies by Rola Barthes can be considered precursor to which school of theory? School of theory is post-structuralism. Because deconstruction is not the school of theories. It is a theory give, devised by Derrida. It is not the school. School of theories post structuralism Question number 87, Gauri Viswanathan has written the work, The Beginning of English Literary Study in British India. I charge Ahmed has written Indian literature notes towards the... Uh, and uh, Stephen Greenblatt has written Definition of a Category. And Raymond Williams is written with the culture. So. Uh, a is the right option. Marvin Harris, in the rise of anthropology, coined the term cultural materialism, was founded uh, by Raymond William. Question number 89, roots of American cultural studies can be found in social anthropology. B is the right option. The Center for Contemporary Cultural Studies, triple CS, that played a critical role in developing the field of cultural studies, was founded at the University of Birmingham in 1964. This question was also asked in UGC net exam 2023 morning shift. So a few questions are repeated from the UGC net exam. Those who have appeared for the net exam, they might have got it correct. Richard Hogarth's The Use of Literacy, one of the seminal work on cultural studies in England, was published in the year 1964. Question number 91. Richard Hogarth, The Use of Literacy, one of the seminal works on the cultural studies in England, was published in the year. The answer is 1957. All the options given here are wrong. So this uh, question must be cancelled. Stephen Greenblatt connects his study of self-fashioning to literature. He has written a work, Relance Self-Fashioning from Mood to Shakespeare. That means self-fashioning is connected to literature, showing how subjectivization achieved through ideological and narrative patterning of the self is oriented towards positioning oneself in relation to past. So literature is the right option. Question number 93, a cultural studies reader, history, theory, practice, 2005, edited by M.J. C. Cummins. And Geeta Rajan traces cultural studies as far as back to I.A. Richards. Uh, that's the right option. The next question, Political Shakespeare, New Essays, Cultural Materialism, is work written by Jonathan Dollymore and Anand Sinfield. This question was also asked in UGC Senate 2023, Morning Shift. Question number 95, which of the following is not member of the Bloomsbury Group? The right answer is D.S. Eliot. Imposter was in your and little star chief worth a part of Bloomsbury Group. Question number 96, iambic pentameter is also called as blank verse. This is the right option. Question number 97, choose the correct chronological order of the following work. Biography Literary was published in 1817. Life of the Poets by Dr. Samuel Johnson, published in 1779. Essay in Criticism by Matthew Arnold, 1865. In Practical Criticism, 1920. So according to that, A should be the right option. Question number 98, Plato expounded his theory of forms uh, in his work. Republic and Eon. So C is the right option here. Who among the following can be credited with the writing of Philosophy of Rhetoric? Published in 1936. The right option is Northrop Frye. Let's move on to the next question, question number 100. Which of the following literary critic opined that a poem is like a painting? So the right answer is Horace. In this Ars Poetica, he talked about this term. Question number 101, Sidney's Apologies of Poetry is a response to the School of Abuse written by Stephen Gorson. He is the right option. Uh, next question, which of the following seminal work of Emily Jola can be considered as a manifesto of naturalism? She was the founder of naturalism in her work, El Asomio. 
B is the right option. Question number 103, which of the following has not been written by Matthew Arnold? So the right answer is Birth of Tragedy, that is written by Frederick Nietzsche. Question number 104. Roman Jacobson proposed three functions of language, that is referential, emotive, and conatis. So A is the right option. Uh, question number 105, identify the correct statement which defines new historicism. The right answer is D. It believes that literary texts are situated outside the totality of the institution. Question number 106, Edward Said's Orientalism applied revised form of history critic of a discourse by Antonio Gramsci. That is the right option. Who from the following is not associated with the coinage of the term hybridization of colonial language? So there was a work, Empire Writes Back by Bill Ashcroft, Brett Griffith, and Helen Tiffin, where they talks about the hybridization of colonial language. So A is the right option, Salman Rasmus. Derrida uses which term to refer to the unresolvable difficulties a text may open up? The right answer is aporia. A is the right option. Judea Kristeva can be considered with the term intertextuality. Uh, next question, question number 110. Who of the following is not a member of Russian formalist group, Society for the Study of Poetic Language? Osip Break is the right option. Now there is a matching question. Alan So Water, she has written a female tradition. And Jude, uh, Juliet Michel has written Feminity, Narrative, and Psychoanalysis. George Lukacs has written Cultural Realism and Socialist Realism. And Michelle Barrett has written Ideology and the Cultural Production of Gender. So C is the right option. Question number 112. In Being and Time, Martin Hedger insisted that philosopher to date had still failed to answer the question of what is being raised by. So the right answer is Plato and Aristotle. Question number 113, New Left Review, founded in 1960, was first edited by Stuart Hall. This question is from Cultural Studies. Sigmund Freud suggested that we be a form of otherness within ourselves. We cannot claim fully to comprehend even ourselves. Why we act as we do, why we make certain moral and political decisions, why we harbor given religious dispositions and intellectual orientations. So this question is from psychoanalytical criticism. Otherness is the right answer. B is the right answer. Question number 115, which of the following can provide a decisive answer to question of relationship when other evidences are vague or ambiguous? The right answer is bibliography. That is the one reason why we are giving bibliography at the end of a thesis or a research uh, paper so that if anything doubtful or ambiguous, we can go to the original text and we can find the evidences. So bibliography is the right answer. Question number 116, which according to Freds and Bowers is not a type of bibliography? I'm not very sure of the answer of this question. I'll just skip this question. I'll wait for the answer key to come. Uh, next question, question number 117, research hypothesis must be tested against all the discoverable, uh, discoverable facts related to it. So A is the right option. Which of the following is not directly associated with the process of note making? Uh, efficiency, accuracy, and perfection has to be there. Individuality is not required in the note making process. So C is the right option. 119. Which of the following is not a part of the standard bibliographical entry? Title has to be there. Place of publication. It's not there in the latest edition of MLA, but it was there in the seventh edition and it is there in the APA style C. So the question is not asking about any styles, it AP or uh, MLA. So place of publication is there in APA. Edition is also there, but total number of pages are not there in any of the style sheets. So D should be the right answer. Question number 120, how to carry out research <clears throat> can be best described as a research methodology or research methods. So B is the right option. Question number 121. In relation to literary research, ICT stands for Information and Communication Te Technology. Easy question. Uh, question number 122. Which of the following parts of the speech should be capitalized inside titles? So this question is from uh, research methodology. Uh, how to write uh, citation in the bibliography? So uh, 
Articles must be capitalized, whereas preposition pronouns and conjunctions are not to be capitalized. A is the right answer. Identify the correct full form of MLA modern language expression. B is the right option. Uh, presenting another person's ideas, words, or entire works as your own work without giving credit is known as plagiarism. This question is from research methodology, research ethics. So, so many questions they have asked from research methodology. Uh, next question, uh, Elizabethan dramatist, question number 125. Elizabethan dramatist imitated Greek plays by structuring the action into five lines. Uh, question number 126, read the lines and identify the play. What is a map? If a chief good and market of his time, he back to sleep and feeds. A beast, no more. This question is from uh, Hamlet, Act 4, Scene 4. Question number 127, Mirabel and Milament are characters from the way of the world is the right option. Question number 128, it's a matching question, George Peel. So George Peel has written The Old Wife's Tale by George Peel, Thomas Kidd, The Spanish Tragedy, Thomas Nash, The Unfortunate Traveler, and Christopher Marlowe, The Jew of Malt. So according to uh, this, C should be the right answer. Question number 129, identify a tragic drama from the following. All the three, A, B, C, The Way of the World, The Country Wife, Bukes, and Stratism are the comedy, whereas Dryden's All for Love, a parody of Antony Cleopatra, is a tragedy. So tragic drama, so D is the right answer. Question number 130, Alfred Doolittle, who is the father of Eliza Doolittle in Pygmalion. So Pygmalion is the right answer. Question number 131, which of the following works of T.S. Eliot uses the speeches of the chorus of the women of Canterbury? So Mother in the Cathedral starts with the chorus, who are the women of Canterbury. So D is the right option. Who is the author of Indian English play Harley? It's the play by G.V. Desani. So G.V. Desani, A is the right option. Uh, next question number 130. 33. Which of the following plays has not been written by Eugene O'Neill? All My Sons is a play by Arthur Miller. So D is the right option. Who is the angry young man in John Osborne? Look back in anger at Jimmy Porter. D is the right option. Uh, in John Dryden's Absalom and Akatophel, the biblical King David represents Charles II of England. He is the right option. William Langland's Spires Cloman is an example of Middle English. B is the right option. Uh, next question, 137. Which of the following is not a feature of new classical poetry? Individuality is a uh, characteristic of romanticism. Rest all objectivity, personality, and rationality are the parts of new classical. So only three is the right option. Question number 138. In whose poetry themes of mysticism and mythical vision of history were common features? So right option is William Blake. There were a lot of poems of William Blake, like The Visions of the Daughter of Albion and The Marriage of Heaven and Hell, Jerusalem, uh, all are talking about the mythical vision of history. So William Blake is absolutely the right answer. Question number 139, pilgrims in the Canterbury Tales gather at Tabardin and they're going to the Thomas A. Beckett so is the right answer. Question number 140, who from the poets, the right answer is Henry Vaughan. Although Robert Herrick is not a Cavalier poet, but because of his writing style, he is kept in the category of Cavalier poets. So D is the right answer. Henry Vaughan. Uh, who, according to Dr. Johnson, was the founder of new ver versification of English poetry? It's John Dryden. In Life of Most Eminent Poets, he writes this new versification for John Dryden. Question number 142. Identify the poet who said, Bliss was it in the dawn to be alive, but to be young was with heaven. So these lines were taken from the prelude by William Wordsworth, published in 1850. Question number 143, Alfred Tennyson wrote, In Memoriam, upon the death of his friend, Arthur Henry Hallam, A-H-H. -H. In Memoriam was published in 1850, uh, which was the remarkable year in the life of Alfred Tennyson, in which he got the poet laureate ship and also got married. So B is the right option. Uh, question number 144, in which of the following is not a part of Eliot's The Wasteland, The Game of Chase, The Fire Sermon, 
the burial of the dead this three are there death by water is uh, is a part of uh, waste time but not death by fire death by water so c is the right option question number 145 which of the following works can be a uh, best associated with introduction of the term flat and round character so this term appears in em posters aspects of the novel it is talking about the seven aspects of novel question number uh, 146 the color purple by alice walker alice walker american novelist that is uh, written in the epistolary form letter form so epistolary novel is the right answer setting of jedi selinger the catcher in the rye uh, the setting is in the New York City is the right answer. The next question is from Indian literature. Uh, Baka, Laka, Munu, Gangu, these all are characters. This is very easy question from Mulkraj and Untouchable. Uh, which of the following work deals with the moral and the ethical questions about post-independence Indian army life? So this question, uh, this uh, work is by Manohar Malgaonkar, Distant Drum. A is the right option here. Afra Ben Oronoko deals with the themes of slavery and it's a tale of a noble African. Colonialism is obviously there and the setting is Suriname. So A is the right option. So these are all the 100 questions with answer keys. Few one or two questions that I could not give the right answer. We'll have to wait for the right answer key, the official answer key to come. And based on the uh, standard of the questions, I can find that the level of the questions was easy to moderate. And because of that, the cutoff will definitely go higher. So for the general candidates, the cutoff may be 60 to 62 percent. Whereas for EWS, it will be 55 to 56. And for OBC candidates, it may be 56 to 57 percent. Whereas for SC and ST, 52 to 54 percent. So if you are falling in this category, you can qualify the set exam because the assistant professor vacancy is waiting and very soon it will come once the result is announced. So I'm going to start a course for assistant professor Rajasthan Public Service Commission uh, in the very next month, just after the announcement of the result. And all of you are well, uh, welcome to my classes where I'll be covering each and every topic prescribed in the syllabus of RPSC. So waiting for you to join my class. See you there. Take care. Goodbye.